tired of that same old, same old breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Same old tasting scrambled eggs, burger, that dinner steak, ribs, or pork chops. Why not add a little bit of spice or just a touch of heat to make the difference? Change that scrambled egg with a little bit of Johnny Fabulous's John Cena Sr.'s Million Dollar Jalapeno Hot Sauce. Great on burgers, steaks, chops, and those barbecued ribs. And APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. One wow. in the discus in the whole country. And he and I placed first and second at the Texas state track meet in austin in the discus first and second and then i placed third in the shot put my senior year and got a, a four-year scholarship to the university of texas arlington where i was conference champion four times in a row there oh my won my conference division one a wow. i mean division one so there is something to be said for shot put i got to admit we don't when I hear shot put, we don't even think about shot put as just, you know, involving sports here in New York. All we think of them are the four major sports. That's pretty cool that you got yeah. a four-year scholarship and you were one of the best in the nation. That's crazy. When, when you bring well, that up, the, go ahead. Now, when I, we, Carrie and I played running back and linebacker in high school, and okay. I had gotten a concussion uh, my junior year, and I'd gotten my bell rung my senior year, and the doctors were saying, man, you probably should kind of stay away from this heavy contact, you know, football. So I was, I was already throwing the shot put, but I, my senior year, I just really threw a long way and got national recognition. So it uh, kept me out of football, basically. So I got that were you, the scholarship were you, over there. Were you disappointed to not be going further with football because of the concussions? No, I didn't. Okay. I, was, I was never going to be a – a uh, professional football player or you know i would have been a, a decent college player but i had no aspirations to play i wasn't fast enough i didn't have a fast enough 40 time to play in the pros so i never saw myself as a as a college or uh pro football player i just uh stumbled into the shot put and was really good at it and the discus as well and uh just uh, it, it it paid off. Now, didn't Kerry make the Olympic team uh, in discus? He was working. We graduated in 1978, and then I went to UTA. He went to the University of Houston for one year, his freshman year, and uh, he was working toward the 80 Olympics. And if you recall, they boycotted the Olympics in 1980. So. Right. He, he said, to heck with it. I don't want to wait another, you know, four years for the 84 Olympics. So he left the University of Houston and started wrestling full time. So, you know, you grew up with Kerry, like you said, uh, you know, um, seems like you guys ran down the same roads, kind of doing the same sports. Uh, obviously, Kerry was hitting the gas pretty hard. Were you involved in hitting the gas at all back at that age, or did you stay completely natural? I stayed natural. I did a little bit of stuff in college with a shot put because they had to be so strong. But I never, I never stayed on anything uh, for any period of time because I knew that's that's short lived. You know, man, you hit the sauce that much, it's there's going to be it's going to affect your body. And now then. You know, I'm 63 years old, man. My, I just had my heart checked out, and the guy that had all the did the uh, uh, sound. What is that called? Ultrasound. Yeah, cardiograms and all that. Mm -hmm. But uh, my, I'm in perfect shape. They said, man, you're like you're 30 years old. So I'm glad I didn't do the roids and stuff and stay on them heavy, heavy. That's me right there. I was like. Uh, that was like three three years ago. As wow. Wow. When I was Damn. 60. Yeah. Incredible. After further review, I want to be your age if I'm going to look like that. <laughs> that 
That's wow. Been, uh, after further ado. Damn, review. Brian. <laughs> Uh, Brian, I gotta ask you though. I mean, growing up with Kerry, and obviously you guys were best buds, and you see Kerry ballooning into a statue. Did you try to tell him, like, um, bro, this might not be the best thing. You look great, but this this might be bad for you. Well, here's the thing that a, a lot of people, I, I know y'all probably know a little bit about it too. Kerry trained harder than anybody I've ever seen. You can't just do some roids and mm -hmm. be big. He right. trained harder than any professional bodybuilder that I've ever seen. He was a workhorse, man. So, and he didn't do them all the time. You got to realize where okay. he came from. Chris okay. Von Eric, when he was younger, he was a, a mountain of a man too. So his genetics, he was, you know, as far as, uh, he just trained harder than than the rest of the the brothers did, and right. you know it's not it wasn't all it wasn't all roids. Kerry trained super super hard to get that body. It that's just actually, didn't, you just that's actually really good to do know. some roids that's and cool. look like that. Yeah, that's yeah, a lot of work. He might have had the greatest physique we've ever seen, right, Mike? I mean, I, I mean, Kerry Von Erich, you absolutely love. I know that yeah. much, but he might have had the greatest physique we've ever seen in a wrestling ring. Very close, if not the best. So Brian, hanging out with the at the Von Erich house, like you said, it was like Disneyland. Um, was there any jealousy on your part, uh, being around that family all the time? Absolutely not. They uh, they 